Hey Briggs, my name is Miss Tanner and I'm your new media specialist. This year, everything looks a lot different and that includes the library too. We're not gonna be able to let you come in on your own and check your books in and out, but Miss Watts and I have developed a plan to get your books to you so you can still keep reading. In order to do this, there are some specific steps that we need you to follow so we know exactly which books you want so we can pull those and take them to your teacher so you can start reading. Okay, so the first step is to log into your Chromebook and once you've entered your ClassLink launchpad, you want to find the Destiny Discover icon that has the orange light bulb. Once you've clicked on that, it'll probably bring you to a screen that asks you to enter your location and school. You want to enter our location as South Carolina and our school as Briggs Elementary School. Now, whenever you type this in, you want to make sure that it says Florence, South Carolina at the end so it'll bring you to the correct library. Then click Go. This will bring you to the Destiny Discover homepage where it will show you all of the books that we have in our library circulation system. However, before you start looking, you're going to need to make sure that you're logged in. To do this, you want to click on the Login tab in the top right corner. And you're going to log in using your school Google account. Once you've clicked that, it will take you back to the Destiny Discover webpage to show you the books that we have in our system. Check to make sure that your name is in the top right and that Briggs Elementary is in the top left. Now you're ready to check out books. To do this, there are a few different ways that you can look for books in our library circulation system. You can click through our recently added books all of our newest books that we have. You can look through all of our popular titles. You can search specifically by a topic that may interest you. And we have some ebooks available for you to open and check out as well. If you know a specific title that you want to check out, you want to type it in the search bar at the top. We're going to try this out with the book Peep the Cat. This will bring me to all the Pete the Cat books that we have in our library system. Now, if I click on Collections, it will broaden my search to include titles that include Pete or Cat. If that's not what you're looking for, make sure you go back to Books. Now, once you've searched for a title or for a topic, you want to make sure that the books you're looking at are in your accelerated reader range. To do that, you need to include the accelerated reader filter from the left-hand column. From here, you can move the range to fit the books that you should be reading on your level and then apply that. It will refresh the list to reflect the range that you typed into the accelerated reader filter. Whenever you're looking through books, if there is a red bookmark that says out, someone else currently has that book or has placed that book on hold and we're not able to check that one out to you right now. But if there is a green bookmark that says in, that book is available and you can place that on hold. To place a book on hold, you want to scroll over the cover image of the book and look at the bottom right corner and click the hold button. A message will come up that it's available now. And what this means is it will notify Ms. Watts and I to pull that book for you. We will, whenever we have time, pull that book and bring it to your classroom as soon as possible. To look at all the books you have on hold or checked out, you want to click on the three lines or the hamburger beside Briggs Elementary School. Look under My Stuff 
and it will show you all the holds that you have placed. Now remember, it'll say that it's available now and that just means Ms. Watts and I are working to pull that book and get it to you as soon as possible. If you have any current books checked out, that will be on there as well as a history of all the books that you've checked out. If you have any questions about how to place books on hold, um, how to return books, um, you can ask Miss Watts and I these questions whenever we bring your books to the classroom, or you can get your teacher to email Miss Watts or I, and we'll certainly answer those questions for you. Please be patient and we will get them to you as soon as we can because we want you to be reading. And remember that you will turn your books in to your teacher. We will have a bucket in there for you to turn your books in. And Miss Watts and I will come get those books. And then to check out a book, you'll come to Destiny Discover, put your books on hold. Remember, place no more than two holds at a time. Miss Watts and I will pull those books and then bring them to you. If you have any questions, again, just let us know and we'll answer those for you.